Hello, good evening. How are you? Okay, thank you for being here. We are about to start the class. Um, tomorrow, as you already know, thank you for being here. Maximo, Claudia, Jose Moises, Wendy, Gabriela, Rina. Thank you for being here. Uh, as you already know, tomorrow we will have classes. Normally we don't have classes on Friday, on Fridays, but we will have classes this week and also the next week. I just wanted to uh, remind you that tomorrow um, section one and section two should be over. So that's what you have to do, right? A section one, section two, all of these exercises have, have to be completed, right? By tomorrow. If you have any question, any doubt, any problem, fill in out the exercises. Um, just let me know to the WhatsApp group and I will try to help you. So today we are going to finish with all with all of these, right? Section one and also section two. Let's see, it's really worth seeing. And the section two is about it could happen to you. Today we are going to start with this section and also uh, and tomorrow we are going to finish it. So we are going to start with section three and the middle term test for the next week. Actually, we don't do a test as, as you already know. It, it is not a test itself, but it's just uh, to complete and to review the things that you haven't studied before. So that's what you are going to do, only that. And today we are going to continue with these activities, right? If you have any question, any doubt about any topic, you just let me know and I will try to help you. So this was the homework that we had yesterday naming things right investigate the following list of things try to use the passive voice name three books that were made into movies for example and then you have to uh, write the answer and you just need to investigate one of these right one of these um uh, items let's say right things that that were invented in the last 50 years series that were popular last year sports that were played in our high school things that were produced in our country, languages that were spoken, and probably there that are not spoken anymore, movies that were nominated for the Oscars this year, and famous people who were born in the USA. As you can see, these are passive, right? Passive items, or you can write the sentences in passive, right? For example, uh, three movies that were made, or three books that were made into movies are the Hunger Games, Harry Potter, and the Lord of the Rings, right? The same with this one, right? Uh, things that were invented in the last 50 years, the internet, for example, mm, what else? The um, 50 years, you know, probably uh, touch screen phones and screens, right? LCD screens, probably. So we can... Um, mention these kind of things, like like three things or a couple of things that were invented. But we are going to check the, this um, exercise later. We are just going to begin with this and finishing with a review of the passive voice. That's what we are going to do. So, this is a very uh, common conversation, a very similar conversation from the one that we practiced before. This is just a passive voice, as you can see. And this is very similar because it's asking about the, the euro, right? Uh, in this case, it's not talking about uh, cheese or anything, but it's something different, right? It's a little bit different, this conversation. So we are going to listen to it right now. And then um, you will let me know what is this conversation about? What is the difference between this one and the previous conversation that will listen to it? Let's listen to it, please. Unit 11. It's really worth seeing. Page 75, Exercise 8, Conversation. 
I need some information. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union. I think the euro is used in most of Europe. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh. Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent. What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Very good. What was the conversation about? What was the conversation about? ¿De qué se trató la conversación? About some question uh, the men have uh, about European Union. Exactly. The currency and other things. The questions that he had about European Union, right? The currency, different things that he wanted to know. And where did he think that he was going to? To a travel agency. To a travel agency, perfect. And where was he calling from? To a hair, hair salon. To a hair salon, exactly. Very good, perfect. Are you able to identify the, pa the passive voice in this conversation? ¿Pueden ver las oraciones en, pa en voz pasiva? En la conversación, ¿cuáles son? Can you see them? I will make it a little bit bigger. So can you see the... What um, sentences in passive voice do we have there? For example, what currency is used in the European Union? Is that passive? What currency is used in the European Union? Yes, or is it active? It's a passive voice because it has is and use. Exactly. Very good. Very good way to identify passive voice. We have the, the verb to be in present and then the past participle, right? Use. Is used in the European Union. Perfect. I think the euro is used in most of Europe. That is passive or active? I think the euro is used in most of Europe. Passive. Passive, exactly. We have another one. And it is English spoken much there? Is English spoken much there? That is passive also, right? English spoken much there. Let's see another one. Well, but about what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? Are they it's accepted? Possible. Yes, it's, pa it's, pa it's possible. Hello. Are they accepted everywhere? Because there is a pronoun, right? And we can place pronouns uh, between uh, the, the passive voice sometimes. Let's see. You have the wrong number. Is that passive or active? You have the wrong number. Active. Active voice. You have the wrong number. Perfect. Very good. Now, it says here, by the end of this class, you will be able to use passive without by. Yesterday, we watched the passive voice with by, but now we are just going to review. The, we're going to finish with this uh, complex um tense well it's not a tense it's a it's a way to to talk in active or passive right because the tenses are the simple present present continuous simple past past continuous present perfect so as you can see we have different tenses 
and we can speak in an active manner or in a passive manner, right? For example, in a simple present, can I create a passive voice? Yes, right. I made the cake. A cake is made by me, right? So is made is the passive voice. In present continuous, can I create the, pa the passive voice? Yes. I am making a cake. A cake is being made by me. As you can see, all of these tenses can be a bit can be transformed into passive, right? I made a cake. A cake was made by me. The only difference, as you can see, is the verb to be, right? The verb to be is in has to be transformed into the tense, right? Present continuous, present perfect, uh, future perfect. For example, in, in future, we can have also the passive voice, right? I will make a cake. A cake will be made by me. So as you can see, we have different tenses and we can create a passive voice in all of these tenses. Podemos tener la voz pasiva en diferentes tiempos, en todos los tiempos, ¿verdad? En presente, en pasado, en futuro, en presente continuo. Siempre vamos a hablar eh, normalmente en activo, pero lo podemos usar en voz pasiva. And this is the information that you had in the video in the platform. If you check the platform, you will be able to see these examples, right? They use the euro in most of the European Union. The euro is used in most of the EU, right? So that's those are some of the uh, of the information that we watch or the, that we read in the conversation. They speak English in many European countries. English is spoken in many European countries. They manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. And what he's trying to say here is that we don't need the buy, right? We don't need buy. We don't need the doer of the action in passive voice if we don't know it or if it is not important. We can write it like that. So when we use in passive voice, we use uh, we use it in factual or scientific writing. For example, the chemical is placed in a test tube and the data enter into the computer. So as you can see, in this case, the sentence is impassive, all of the all of it. So when we're talking about factual or scientific things or books about science, uh, we can see that is impassive, right? All of this uh, explanation is impassive. In order to put the new information at the end of the sentence to improve style, as you can see here, the three books are used regularly in the class. The books were written by Dr. Bell. Dr. Bell wrote books, sound clumsy. So to put the new information at the end of a sentence to improve the style is to improve the writing, right? To sound more formal, let's say, right? Más, más sofisticado, right? Entonces, es por eso que ocupamos el... Eh, la voz pasiva la vamos a ver más que todo en libros, en libros eh, de texto, libros eh, donde nos expliquen cosas, ¿verdad? And, for example, uh, the, the euro is used in most of the EU by the people here, is without buy, and cars are manufactured in Europe by manufacturers, right? So, and this is the... Um, Simple present passive. This is just the, the formula, right? It's like a reminder that we have to use the present of B plus past participle to use the passive voice. And this is just uh, like an explanation again that we use um, the passive voice without an agent when the agent is not important, right? For example, all applications must be received before 31 July or July 31st, the data was analyzed and the results have just been published. I walk to work, the car's being repaired. We often use impersonal expression with it or there when the agent is not important. It was decided to charge 10 pounds per ticket. It has been estimated that in Tanzania, one elephant in three is an orphan. There were no comments given about the proposal and no decisions made. So, um, as you can see, these are sentences without by, right? 
by it's not important the agent that's what he's trying to say this information do you have any questions about passive voice i guess that it's it's clear right right now because this is just a review no questions right okay very good now help me help me create the the active voice these are sentences in passive now we are going to write it in active. Vamos a hacer al, al revés. En lugar de describirlas de en voz pasiva, la vamos a escribir en voz activa. For example, the bag was packed by his mother. The bag was packed by his mother. Can you give me the, the active voice? The bag was packed by his mother. His mother packed the bag. Let's see. His mother packed the bag. Very good. Number two. This book was written by an Irishman. What is the active? The Irishman write the book. This book. An Irishman. What's written? What is the tense? Write. Wrote. Wrote. Exactly. An Irishman wrote this book. Perfect. Number three. Coffee is sold by Mary. Mary sell coffee. Coffee. Let's see. Mary sells coffee. Very good. Mary sells coffee. Perfect. The computer is used by Patrick. Mm -hmm. Use of the computer. Mm -hmm. Patrick is the computer. Use the computer. Okay. Patrick uses the computer. Okay, Jose Moises, no problem. Patrick uses the computer, very good. He uses because it's in present, right? Perfect. And the last one, the exercise is completed by the teacher. The teacher completed the exercise. Mm -hmm. The teacher completes the exercise. Let's see. The teacher completes the exercise. Very good. So we are uh, checking just the passive of being present and in past. So that was really good. Let's see the next one. And this one is this one is the opposite, right? These are actives and passive, right? My friend bought a new car. My friend bought a new car. A passive. This is active. Now passive is? A new car was bought by my, my friend. Very good. A new car was bought by my friend, right? If we want to, we can add my friend also. Perfect. John cleaned the bathroom. The bathroom was cleaned by John. Mm-hmm. The bathroom was cleaned by John. Let's see. The bathroom was cleaned very good by John, right? If you want to add the by John, we can do it. Perfect. Levi Strauss invented the blue jeans. The blue jeans were invented by Levi Strauss. Let's see. The blue jeans, the blue jeans were. were. Exactly, because blue jeans in Spanish is uh, one, right? But in English is, is plural. Blue jeans were. Were invented yes. by Levi Strauss. Very good. Next one. The teacher closes the window. The window was closed the t-shirt by the teacher. Let's see. 
the window is closed by the teacher. Very good, the teacher, right? Teacher. No, teacher, teacher is the teacher, right? The teacher is teacher. Okay. Very good. The dog did not buy the cat. That is that is kind of complicated because that is negative, right? Passive voicing negative. That is possible also. The dog didn't or did not buy the cat. Listen. Mm -hmm. Daddy did, didn't. El perro no mordió al gato. Como de rito, pues. The cat wasn't beaten by the dog. Let's see. The car wasn't or was not beaten by the dog. Very good. Very good. Perfect. Clap for you. Very good. Perfect. So you can see uh, we have practiced a lot with the passive voice. And I think that this is it, right? Perfect. Mm -hmm. These are some examples, right? Um, like for example, uh, lots of houses were destroyed. This is active or passive? Lots of houses were destroyed. This is? Passive. Voice. Passive. passive, right? A letter was written, active or passive? Passive. 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 They, oft, mm -hmm. they often read emails. Active, active. or passive? Active. 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 Mm -hmm. Bingo is played in written. Passive. 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 He, he lost his keys yesterday. Active. 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 Perfect. Very good. Now, I think that everything is clear. I'm glad to hear that. Perfect. So these are the, the answers, right? That we have. That we have done. This is another exercise, but I guess that it's kind of long, so we won't be doing it. But this was the last part of the passive voice. And this will be the homework for today, but first we are going to check the homework for uh, from yesterday. Did you investigate something about uh, these items? Alguien investigó algo acerca de esto? Now, for example, uh, things that were invented like the last, in the last 50 years, series that were popular last year, sports that were played in your high school, Things that were produced by in your country, languages that were spoken. Anybody? Yes. Okay. What did you investigate? About languages that were spoken. Okay. What languages were spoken? Latin, ancient Greek, and Sanskrit. Very good. Languages that were spoken. So that would be Latin, you said? Latin, ancient Greek, and Sanskrit. Ancient Greek and Sanskrit. So we don't speak that, those languages anymore, right? Right. There is no population that talk that languages. You have to go to a special school to learn. Okay, very good. Sanskrit is with K. Okay, very good. Perfect, perfect. Yes, before in the schools, they used to teach Latin, right? In Catholic schools. Very good. Another person? Alguien más? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I will talk about things that were invented in the last 50 years. Okay, things that were invented in the last 50 years. Very good. What are those things? Electro ele electric cars. Mm -hmm. Photovoltaic solar energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what else? And robotic surgery with non invasive laser. Ah, robotic surgery with not invasive. Surgery uh -huh. With non invasive laser. Very good. That that was invented like 50 years ago, on the last 50 years? Yes, teacher. Okay. That's very good because it's better, right? With not invasive. 
Laser. Laser, perfect. Mm -hmm. Who else in investigated something else? ¿Quién más investigó algo? Somebody else? Okay, Sonia, go ahead. Uh, the three books that were made into the movies. Okay, three books that were made into movies. Yes, the number one, the book de la, de la pelea. It's That's a novel. A book? Yes, oh, it's okay. a novel was written by Chuck Pala, Palanuk in the year 1996. Okay. Number two, mm -hmm. La Reina del Sur. It was part of temporary lit literature, was written by Arturo Perez Reverte. Mm -hmm. It was later created as a television series. Mm -hmm. And the number three, Peter Pan. It was written by, uh, <laughs> J.M. 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 Barry. Uh, the first adaptation of the movie was was in 1924 here. Yes, exactly. That was a long time ago, right? Very good. I didn't know that the Fight Club was a novel and La Reina del Sur. I thought it was like I, I never thought I never knew that. I never thought it was a, a, a book like a novel, something like that. Very, very good, very interesting. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Somebody else? Me? Can I? Okay, go ahead. Some series that were popular last year. Okay, uh, series for example, popular last year, okay. A Squid Game. Mm -hmm. And a Stranger Things. The Mandalorian. And I think Breaking Bad, Walking Dead. And I, I think there are more, but... <laughs> They are the most popular. Okay, yes. Uh, Squid Game, Stranger, Stranger Things, The Mandalorian. Uh, do you did you watch any of these series? All of them. <laughs> All of them. Do you like to watch series? Yes. Okay, very Actually, good. Actually, uh -huh. I when I start, I I like obsessive until the end. Yes, like you're <laughs> after like uh, one chapter after another one, right? Yes. Okay. Are you watching something right now? Um. Now I start just watching like um, Stranger Things. Uh huh. And I just stand by because uh, I have a lot of things to do, so I can watch it for now. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good. Yes. Uh, it's very entertaining. Very good. And Squid Game, Stranger think... Things were popular. Yes. Go ahead. And I think the ugly Betty is Betty is is the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it's like the same thing. Like, but yeah. have you watched? Have you watched Betty? That is always on the top. Always on the top, right? Yes, exactly. A lot of people like it. Yes, it's very popular. <laughs> very good, just yes. perfect. Another person. Someone else. Rosemary, go ahead. Um, good evening. Good evening. Things that were produced in your country. Ah, uh, things that were produced in your country. Yes. Okay. Uh, the export of cocoa was in the 16th century. Mm -hmm. And coffee was the most important crop in the Salvadoran economy. The cotton was influential the by influential by the Sultan Department. Mm -hmm. The anil was known as blue gold by Salvadoran. Okay, but the first one you mentioned uh cocoa? Yes. Cocoa, cocoa like cocoa like chocolate, right? Okay. And then anil, right? Yes. Okay, how do you say anil in English? Um, because we can say that is anil, anil, right? But it's indigo. Also, like the, uh, the color, that's the name of the color, indigo. 
Yeah, yo lo averiguo aquí, pero tenía duda. Yes, yes, but it's indigo. It's correct, exactly. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. Very good, very good. Another person? Someone else? Uh, I have other things that were produced in my country. Okay, what else? Uh, coffee grains. Coffee uh, grains. Mm -hmm. Sugar cane. Mm -hmm. And corn. Corn. Mm. Okay, yes, coffee grains. Because right now, I've seen that all the plantation of coffee, right? They are not producing coffee grains anymore. Right, they are like, uh, you can go there and visit as a tourist, like coffee plantations. And also there are like places where you can stay there and visit it in a cabin or things like that. Ahora son como lugares turísticos, verdad? Las, los cafetales. We don't produce a lot of coffee grains. We still produce, but not that much. We're good yes. in sugar cane and corn, right? Yes. We don't produce corn anymore or we still produce it? Uh, I think sugar cane. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, it's it's ready. No, it's. Uh, aún continuamos sugar cane. Oh, okay. but corn and <laughs> can not sing. In corn, but corn no. no, no, no for exportation. Ah, okay, but sugar cane we do. We still are exporting and, and producing it. Okay. Corn only for tortillas, right? For us, which are kind of expensive yes. nowadays. Kind of expensive. Very good. Somebody else? Alguien más? No? Okay, perfect. That's enough. A lot of information, actually. As you can see, uh, there are different topics, right? But we can use, with all of these topics, we can use the passive voice. If we speak or if we talk like in a more um educative way right si hablamos de una manera más educativa verdad podemos hablar de todo esto usando la voz pasiva perfect very good examples now let's see here what do we have okay now we are going to go to another topic uh, we are going to present the topic today. Ahora vamos a cambiar de tópico porque ya mucho de la passive voice. Ya creo que ya todos la conocemos. So now we are going to speak about the past. Past continuous versus simple past. Have you studied these um, tenses before? ¿Ya estudiaron estos, estos tiempos antes? Yes, right? Past continuous, pasado continuo, and simple past. Pasado simple. Yes, right? Yes. 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 Very good. Can you give me one sentence in past continuous, please? One sentence in past continuous. Una oración en pasado continuo, ¿quién me la puede decir? I was working yesterday. I was working yesterday, exactly. And a simple past sentence, una oración en simple past. I went to the Sorry? I went to the supermarket. I went to the supermarket, perfect. Exactly. So, I was working yesterday. Esa es una oración. Yo estaba trabajando. But something interrupted that action. Algo interrumpió esa acción. Porque yo estaba trabajando cuando algo pasó, ¿verdad? And I went to the supermarket. I finished that, that action, right? Yo finalicé esa acción. I went to the supermarket. I, I paid. I brought my things to my house. I went to the supermarket. I finished it. Nothing interrupted that action. Nada interrumpió 
esa acción. Very good, but we are going to use it in a combination now. Vamos a combinar. It says past continuous. Uh, we use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. For example, they went to the movies. He came home as she drove my car. But how, how can we combine both of them? For example, past continuous versus simple past, right? Aquí tenemos un ejemplo. I think that we have here an example. Sorry. Yes, it says here. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. Como estábamos explicando what we were explaining in the previous examples, uh, something is um, the simple uh, past is something that is finished, right? Already finished. But the past continuous or it's something that was in progress, but it was interrupted, right? I was watching a good movie, for example. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. So as you can see, um, we use it in a combination, right? These are the structures. The structures, as you remember, they are really important because that's the way that um, we use to create the sentences, right? For example, subject plus verb plus past plus complement. My mother went to the supermarket. My mother is the subject, right? Went, verb in past, and complement to the supermarket. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the base form or in present plus complement. My mother didn't go to the supermarket. And as a question, right? Did plus subject plus verb plus complement. Did your mother go to the supermarket? So that's the way that we use the simple past. I think that you already know that, right? But it is good to remember the structure so we don't have to commit mistakes. Es bueno recordar para que no hagamos errores. Now, the past continues. This tense has more than one use. But this time, we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. El pasado continuo no solo lo ocupamos para acciones eh, que son no finalizadas, pero para eso lo vamos a ocupar en este caso. We will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by an, another event or action. For example, I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when she had an accident and you were painting the house when you ran out of paint. So these are unfinished action because they were interrupted, all of these. And this is the combination, right? Um, while and when. What is the meaning of while in Spanish? ¿Qué significa while? Does anybody know? Mientras. Mientras. Mientras, exactly. Mientras. And when? Cuando. Cuando, exactly. So we can use these words to combine the two tenses, right? The two tenses. While I was having lunch, the alarm went off. Mientras comía, el alarma eh, se apagó. While plus long action plus uh, past continuous, right? While. When, right? He was watching TV when somebody knocked the door. Él estaba viendo la televisión cuando alguien tocó a la puerta. So it says when plus short action, simple pass. So while normally it, it can be uh, at the beginning, right, of the sentence normally. And when can be um, after the, um, after the, Past continuous, sorry, after the past continuous. And then we can introduce the simple past. And this is the structure, right? 
this information is in the video also past continuous tense right and this is the affirmative structure negative and interrogative she was cooking all morning she was not sleeping when he came home was she sleeping when he came home so these are the structures right we can check it later um sentence by sentence it says past continuous versus simple past the past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when another action occurred i was taking a bath when the doorbell rang they were eating dinner when the neighbors stopped by for a visit and also we can use uh, time expressions right for example last week last month two years ago i made a friend while so we can uh, use this kind of ex expression time expression for example last week i was driving when i got a flat tire right so i can uh, i can use while or uh, i was driving when right or while i was driving right so normally we use these two tenses where when we try to tell a story or something that happened to us right and we want to uh, share that information right as you can see here it says here the objective in this class you will learn some useful adverbs for telling stories so we are going to check the stories right now i'm sorry the adverbs to tell better stories for example, it says here, listen to what happened to these people, check these things that happened to you. These are our short stories. Estas son historias cortas. Entonces, solo vamos a leerlas, ¿verdad? For example, I was watching a really good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was talking to my friend when my cell phone died. I was traveling in another country when I met an old school friend. I was getting off a bus when I slipped and fell on the sidewalk. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I was typing my book report on my computer when it crashed. While I was walking down the street, I found some money. Estas son pequeñas historias. And we can see here the examples using the simple past and the present continuous. Now, this is the, the, ex, the explanation about this, right? Uh, the tenses, when do we use it, what words can we use, and this is just a review about these two tenses. Now, do you have any question about this? Preguntas? How do we use or how we combine these two tenses? No questions? No. Okay, everything's clear. Let's see now. I want you to help me, sorry. I want you to help me uh, to create uh, or to write these sentences with simple past or present continuous. It says, my brother snowboard when he break his leg in several places. How can we use present perfect continuous and simple past in this sentence? My brother uh -huh. was was uh -huh. snowboarding snowboarding when he broke broke his leg in several places. Very good. My brother was snowboarding when he broke his leg in several places. Number two. I have problems. Several years ago, I have problems with math. So I found a tutor to help me. I had. Several years ago, I had uh-huh problems with math uh-huh so i found a tutor to help me 
very good. Yeah, gram grammatically is correct, Maximo. Grammatically is correct. Perfect. Let's. Uh, we will check it later. Perfect. Number three, the couple have their first child while they live in a tiny apartment. The couple had their first child while they live in a tiny apartment. Remember that we have to combine two tenses. Tenemos que incluir the, los dos tiempos. The couple have their first child while they were living in a tiny apartment. Very good, Gabriela. The couple had, in past right, had their first child while they were living in a tiny apartment. And the last one. While I drive in Ireland a few years ago, I realized I was on the wrong side of the road. Well, while I while I was driving in Ireland I, a few years ago, I realized that I was on the wrong side of the road. Okay, let's see. Very good. Thank you very much, Rina. Let's see here. Now the answers. My brother was snowboarding when he broke his leg in several places. Perfect. Several years ago, I was having problems with math. So I found a tutor to help me. Si yo digo, I had problems, um, está bien, está correcto. Pero aquí el ejercicio era de combinar los dos tiempos. But very good, Maximo. The couple had their first child while they were living in a tiny apartment. And while I was driving in Ireland a few years ago, I realized I was on the wrong side of the road. Perfect. I think that you got the idea, right? Okay, now we are going to learn how to tell stories. Cuando nosotros decimos historias, anécdotas que nosotros nos han pasado, ¿verdad? Necesitamos también vocabulario para poderlas decir. We need vocabulary. And some of that vocabulary are adverbs, right? Like, for example, coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Okay, we are going to practice the pronunciation because it's kind of complicated. And as you can see, all of these adverbs end with Y. Normally, or many adverbs uh, end with Y, L-Y, right? For example, well, I was walking down the street when suddenly or strangely something happened, right? It started out as a normal day, but sadly miraculously, right? And something happened, right? Or we were on our way to the festival when fortunately or unfortunately or unexpectedly something happened, right? So that's the way that we can use it, right? Like we were doing something and then we describe the way it was um, interrupted, right? Like strangely, suddenly, surprisingly. So first of all, we are going to repeat uh, every every adverb, and then we are going to check the meaning. Now, repeat, if you want, you can turn on your microphone. Si quieren, pueden encender el micrófono, si no, lo pueden dejar apagado. Okay, number one is coincidentally. Repeat, coincidentally. Coincidentally. Perfect. Next one is fortunately. 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 Perfect. Not fortunately, no, fortunately. Fortunately. Next one. Luckily. 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 Next one. Miraculously. 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 Next one. Sadly. 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 Perfect. Next one. Strangely. 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 
strangely, perfect. Next one, suddenly. Suddenly. Next one, surprisingly. Surprisingly. Next one, unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Perfect. And the last one, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, perfect. You see, there you, we can see like a lot of uh, letters there, but we need to listen and then repeat it and repeat it, and then we are going to memorize the sound. So, for example, as I was saying before, these are this is the past continuous versus simple past, right? We use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past, and use the simple past for an action that interrupts the action in progress. Uh, just a minute, can you read the three sentences, please? Okay. Wait a minute, my phone is... I was taking a shower. I, I mean, I was taking a shower when my, phone, my cell phone rang. While Marie, Maria was walking home, she found $15. $50. I was driving to work, but I got a flat tire. Exactly, perfect. So this is the formulas, right? You can check it later. I will share this tomorrow with you so you can have it. Eso lo voy a compartir mañana con ustedes para que ustedes lo tengan. This is the, um, the past continuous, the formula subject plus was, where verb in ing plus complement you see i was watching my favorite show she was walking home he was cooking dinner and the simple simple pass subject plus past verb plus complement the power went out she saw her best friend he ran out of a gas so in this case we combine two sentences right to tell uh, an event and a story past continuous versus simple past right the past continuous is the action in progress and the simple past is the interruption. Uh, Wendy, can you read the, the last three sentences, please? Wendy, are you there? Wendy Abigail Rivera, Descobar. Now you have problems with your mic. Okay, let's see, Patricia Rodriguez. Can you read the last three, please? Okay, teacher. While I was watching my favorite show, the power went out. She was walking home when she saw her best friend. He was cooking dinner, but he ran out of gas. Perfect. He was cooking dinner, but he ran out of gas. Any question about any word that you don't know? Preguntas? Or anything about the, the formulas or the usage? No? Okay, remember here next to the sentence, we have when, right? But and while. When, cuando. We use it with the simple past. Los usamos con el simple past. When, right? When she saw her best friend, right? Cuando vio a su amigo, when she saw her best friend. But we use it also with the sample past, right? Pero he was cooking dinner, but he ran out of gas. So he was not able to finish cooking, right? Or while. While is the only one that we use with the past continuous. While I was watching my favorite show, the power went out. We are going to use it like that, right? Uh, we can say also the power went out while I was watching my favorite show. We can do it like upside down, right? Um, or he ran out of gas when he was cooking dinner, right? We can we can change it anyway, but uh, try to use it like this, right? When with simple pass, but with simple pass, and while with uh, past continuous. Just to practice, try to follow these structures, right? To practice, and then... You can change it, you can move it at the end if you want to, or in the middle, no problem. Let's see, someone is writing here. Lo siento, teacher, he tenido unos problemas esta semana y no he podido estar muy atenta a la clase. 
No problem, Wendy. Thank you for letting us know. Okay, but no problem. We are going to review tomorrow everything as we did today with the simple with the passive voice. So this is the conversation. What you, what you have been doing? I guess that this is we are going to practice this conversation later. Later with um, the de the next topic that we had, which is the present perfect continuous. I don't want to. I don't want I don't want to mix them up. Since we only have five minutes, I will explain here the adverbs, right? The meaning of the adverbs to tell stories, right? Coincidentally, right? We use it when two things that have a connection happen in the same way or at the same time by chance. For example, I was going to call her when coincidentally she called me like it's like a coincidence right una coincidencia miraculously used when something that seems impossible or difficult happens a criminal shot alejandro in the head miraculously he survived luckily or fortunately these are synonyms right used when something good happens by chance or luck i didn't do homework fortunately the teacher forgot about it luckily i ate at home because the food at the party was terrible next one suddenly used when something happens quickly and by surprise i was in a taxi on my way home when suddenly another car hit us sadly or unfortunately use when something bad happens i studied a lot for the final test unfortunately i didn't pass i bought tickets to bad bunny's concert sadly it got canceled and strangely strangely surprisingly and unexpectedly use when something unusual or not common happened I was walking down the street when, surprisingly, I saw a celebrity. She saw, uh, she's, sorry, Rina, go ahead, yes. Sadly, it's like, lamentablemente. Yes, like, tristemente, right, sadly, lamentablemente, yeah. Perfect. Now, uh, example two. She was washing a shirt when unexpectedly, she found money. And the last one, strangely, nobody did anything when the two boys were fighting. Okay. Now, uh, tomorrow we will, uh, this is the homework for tomorrow, right? We're going to, I don't want to play a role play because I think that this is, let's see here, Modulo 3. Okay, I want you to tell me a story, not a role play. We are not going to play a role play to, uh, today for as a homework, but tomorrow we will have this conversation, right? This conversation will work as a role play. Here, we will place it here. But tomorrow as a homework, I want you to tell me a story, something that happened to you. For example, like this, I was, I was taking a shower when, my, when I fell, right? When I fell. Or I was washing the t-shirt of my husband and I found $50, right? So I want you, I, I, I try to tell, uh, try to get a, a, a information or a story out of the sentences that you are going to write, okay? Algo que pueden ustedes desarrollar, porque yo les voy a preguntar acerca de eso. Por ejemplo, si ustedes eh, eh, escriben una oración y dicen, I was driving to work, but I got a flat tire. Okay, and what did you do, right? Ah, uh, luckily I I found a mechanic, or uh, fortunately my husband was at home, and he helped me, right? Or my wife, or my friend, right? So try to think about a story, and try to combine, um, try to write a sentence combining the the two tenses, past continuous, 
versus simple past, like these ones, right? Because I will ask you about that sentence, right? For example, I was going to call her, well, actually this one, no, but uh, this one, a criminal shot Alejandro in the head, miraculously he survived, right? Or something that you, you can explain more about it, like a story, right? I was in a taxi on my way home when suddenly another car hit us, right? This is a story, right? That you can share with the class. Entonces, eso vamos a hacer mañana as a homework. Do you have any questions about the homework? Preguntas de la tarea? No. no okay, no. Claudia. Claudia, what are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer mañana, Claudia? Uh, a story about the past continued in past tense. Exactly. The past continuous and the simple past tense. Perfect. Y yo les voy a preguntar de que les voy a preguntar de eso, no les voy a preguntar. Yes. Yes, I will ask you, right? So try to think about a story and try to write a sentence, right? And if it is possible, try to use these adverbs, right? Suddenly, these adverbs, mm -hmm. also you can find them in the platform and remember to complete the platform by tomorrow, okay? Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. So if you don't have any question, we will finish the class right now. Thank you for being here and your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a nice night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night.